G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we're back into the Darkness Falls Overhaul mod into a brand new week, we're in to day 36 and we just faced down the day 35 Blood Moon Horde, as you can see the remnants of all the zombies that came to my front door, scattered about and decomposing on the spike pit down below, oh I didn't realise that you were kind of messed up, alright I'll consider that for later, but I think it actually went about as well as it could have done which means today and this week I have a lot of work to do there are some upgrades I want to do to the horde base itself but they're gonna have to wait that's where all my good stuff goes I have so much stuff now I have so much extra stuff I might even just try and drag all of this home with me um hmm it's gonna end up putting all of my hop up that's okay I'll take all of you I'm gonna take you guys back home with me there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's make sure I put you where the... There we go. Put that one into there so I don't lose it later. Let's drag my sorry self and every last scrap of loot that I've got back to my normal base before we head out for the day. On the way through, I need to go see... I need to go see Trader Wrecked. I need to go give him all my money, actually, and go see him. I'm going to go see a new trader as well. So taking, like, a stack of 20 grand wouldn't be such a bad idea. So let's take all this stuff. Let's find whatever the hell I did with my mini bike Somewhere... Somewhere, I've probably gone over it by now and people are going to be yelling at me. Where the heck did I put it? Oh, it's there. All right, I, guys, I found it. It's okay. It's always lovely to come back to my lovely little lighthouse home. Look at that. It's all nice and cleared out. It's starting to actually come together. My nice kitchen that I slaved over. Not to make any meals, just to make it look slightly nicer. I do need to fix up all my attic and stuff. Like, having my bloody vehicle workshop in the middle of an attic doesn't really seem like a great idea. It'll be a whole endeavor to try and get a car up here. Hey. Uh, let's slide all of you guys into there, get some nice stacks going. Just go through and drop off anything we can into their respective places. I'm gonna drink some of the sham chowder in a second. But, let's just free up some space. Uh, scrap you. Nothing else in there, that's fine. I'll go through and just like sort everything out in a tick. Just gonna try and free up my inventory first. Oh, yes, see? Okay, there we go. That was the one part that was missing. Now I have everything. Just going through and grabbing all like the mods and shit out of everything I can because they're worth so many dollar redos you can get sold i'll take the die out of you in 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 um what was my yeah see look okay so i did get a better pickaxe out of that as well scrap you make sure i have some gloves turns out i also lost some gloves before as well but now i have some extra ones modify i think yellow goes into black i don't know actually does it yeah it's got recipes so it's worth something let's scrap you and you can go away dies can go into this box and some materials into there nice okay boots how are we looking for boots those ones are slightly better so i'll take you out of there you still need some other mods for my booty boys to get my toes is nice and safe but sorry i'll deal with that later on oh i didn't put the buddy ak modify you in you go nice where you you guys can go back into there same goes for you, Big Nose. Oh, it's such a... So much to do today. I'm just struggling to keep up already. I'm going to put some mods into my... Oh, no. That one there. There you go. You can go back to that one. I don't need full stacks of either of you, actually. So half of you... Oh, it does look kind of nice with the suppressor on it, actually. You know what? I kind of like that. We'll leave you there. I will take with me... He's rather running with the shotgun, which... Oh, actually... Maybe I should go get the coil shotgun and run with the buckshot that I'm not really planning on using for, um, for, what should I call it? What I'm trying to say? For horde knights anymore. What do I got in here? I've got... Maybe I should make myself some coil shotgun slugs. Coil slugs. Forge, oh my god. Oh, it's breaching actually. Never mind. I'm looking at the wrong one. Where's the other one? Coil slug. Iron bullet tips and batteries. Maybe that's what I should be making instead. Because I was actually running rather low on that. And they were pretty bloody helpful when well, when demolishers came and knocking. Although I am rather short on iron now. Because I left it all at the horde base. Josh! Damn it! Alright, well how's this? I'll go back to the horde base. I'll take you with me. And I'll drop off the ammo. I'll grab the shotgun. I have all the stuff to go sell. So I'll kind of do the old switcheroo boy out there. Go see Trader Wrecked. Try and buy some stuff. And then take off into the distance. It's not quite as far away today as going to see Trader Gen. Like, I'm not going nearly as far. That was like, oh, for goodness sake. There you go. Find the one itty bitty bar of the mini bike where you can actually interact with it. 
<laughs> so annoying. Um, yeah, it's not as far as going to see Trader Gen. It's only a couple of kilometers away, so it's not so bad. So it's going to take me like a day and a bit to travel there. So if I leave after midday, I think I should be still be okay to uh, get all the way over there and go see oh, what's crack a lacking. Uh, let's go grab my shotgun and stuff and just do the old switcheroo. And grab the iron as well. Josh, don't forget to grab at least some of the iron because you are going to need it to craft some uh, coal slugs for future use. Start your prep work now. Don't leave it till later. Ah, you. That's what I need. Let's just take that whole stack. That'll be fine. I think that's most of everything in there. My frames, don't leave them behind. Good. Oh, actually, do I have any extra mods in you that I wanted to take with me? Yes. I'm rolling with the P225 still, so I'll take you. What have you got in you? You don't have the flame mod anymore. I don't even know how many slots you have. Modifier, can you take like all three of those? Rad remover. I feel like I killed them quick enough that rad remover shouldn't matter too much for me. It's more important for the horde base, for example, where they fall off the edge and I don't know if I can go down and get them again. In you guys go. That should be all of that. Nice. All my loadout is back to normal. Cool fucking beans. Put you back into there. All right, let's go back home. No, let's go see Trader Wrecked actually and sell all this garbage and see what he's got to sell me. Oh, this, like, the start of a new week is always so stressful because I feel like time's of the essence. Even though I have more time now than I ever bloody will, I feel like if I bin something now, I'm really going to donut myself later on. G'day, bud. Always good to Damn, see ya. You Let's put like the dead. my you XP gogs on because selling stuff is apparently worth a whole lot of dollar dues. May I see your inventory? Real quick smart. Let's uh, sell you, you, all of you, all of you, just everything I got. Everything I got is gonna get sold. Oh my god. Can like if I buy like 20 suppressors, can I generously donate it to you so you can shut your fucking guards up? That'll be the last of it. I now have a hundred and thirteen thousand dollar reduce. I'll take the bullet tips. I will take the gunpowder, the steel. I don't know if I need the gunpowder. I have plenty of it. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that. Might have been a waste of my ammo. Uh lockpicks got plenty of them. What else you got there, Jimmy Boy? Some random sort of ammo. I'll take the buck shots. I can hear your guards panting outside. Remember, they learn to aim. They wouldn't have to like pull the trigger quite so vigorously. Remember, it's what they miss actually. Wooden furniture. No, not gonna do it for me. Some shades, some sand, some animal fats. Can't just take your time and actually look at what you're buying. Some red tea. Actually, I will buy you. I'll buy some corn as well. Buy the bullet casings just just in case for future. I never know when you might need those. Those are the helmet the lights I just sold to you. And all that garbage. Okay, nice. That's fine. Look at that. $7,000 for a bando. Jesus. What is in your secret stash? Um, I could start buying stuff just for the... Oh, I will buy you, actually. I could start buying stuff just so I can... Oh, I'll buy you as well. Uh, scrap it uh, for their skill note pages. But they're worth $1,300 it is a pop. And that's pretty freaking expensive, to be perfectly honest. I'll take your electric fence post just in case. I'm not sure I got generators back at home. I bought that so I can actually make some more for myself because the only one I had of those is at the horde base. NVGs, not much Ka else. Thanks, All right, buddy. never mind then. Got any recipes for me? No, don't care about that. Stop pressing escape, Josh. Can't craft anything better. No other work. All right. Well, you're kind of useless to me then, aren't you there, chief? Let's drink you to try and stop my uh, thirst, my hunger rather getting away from me any more than it already has. Let's take all this garbage home. Yeah, nah. All right, I'm loving this. I'm feeling good about this, which is weird. Before I head upstairs like normal, I will quickly duck out the back and investigate my garden. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Scritch, scritch, scritch. I would like, scratch you behind your horns if I could, but I might actually just punch you in the face and get really mad at me if I do that. You can just stay there, though. Punch. Oh, four per pop. Yes, bloody please. I want to plant some more corn, but have to harvest this stuff first. Take all of you. I'll just like take all my crops and leave them upstairs so that if I do need crops later on, or rather when I need crops to make myself the better of food, then I'll have everything that I need waiting for me up there. Yeah, this is good. I can't get them four per pop. That's a lot. That's a lot of nutritious goodens that I'm about to get for myself. The return of investment has been outstanding. Oh, I like being a farmer boy. Make sure we put everything away that we can. In you go. Uh, the electric fence should probably go in the tools box. In you go like that. Paint goes in there. You go into that one. Uh, coffee in there. And oh, probably tomatoes as well. Actually, that's probably fair enough. Right, so you. So you're worse. 
Tomato juice is good. But I've got my, um... Hang on, what are you telling me? What is this thing going on? Average quality. So red tea is still average quality. Let's slurp up some clam chowder. I'll take with me... I mean, you're basically the same as the meat stew. Hey, I needed to use the sham uh, sandwiches anyway, but I'll take the meat stew with me. I will take you with me to keep myself nice and hydrated. In fact, I'm still freaking hungry, so... Actually, it's only 20? That's not nearly as much as I was hoping. Let's quickly investigate the stove down here and see what else we can do. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't tell me what I can actually... What the stats it gives me is. It's kind of annoying. Hobo stew, orange marmalade, orange tea. Interesting. I would have thought the meat and like the, the meat stew and the, the sham chowder would have been the good stuff, but I guess not. Meat bolognese, that takes master stuff. So I guess that's the stuff I'm really after. That's the really good gubs. Roast dinner, grab my, yeah, okay. Okay, I also have a maximum load of coffee and I'll take you guys out. Let's go leave you back upstairs. Hmm, interesting. I think with that, we're all ready to go. Got all my normal tools, my meds, my frames, my new guns. I think we're about as happy as anyone could be if they were a cucumber called Larry. Uh, do you have any space in you? No, you don't. I do need, I want a better marksman rifle. What's the go with like the sniper actually? The regular sniper rifle is blocked away from me, but the coil sniper is doable. And it does use 7.62 as well. That might be a bit overkill. We'll see how the Master Rifle goes the rest of today. If it doesn't quite hold up how I want it to, I might have to change over to that one. Because even just rolling like 150 Coil 762 rounds would still be a really good time. You're pumped out of there. You're pumped out of there. Nice. I'll leave you there for me to come back to later. All right. It's now 1.30 in the afternoon. It's time for me to get cracking on my adventure for the day. There we go. Find the spot that actually works. Take you. Make sure you're nice and gassed up. Almost exactly a thousand gas left over. I might have to stop along the way somewhere to grab some extra fuel, but at the moment, I'll head up. I might even swing past Claude's, swing past Sarah's, take that road out to the west, because I have to go out to there. I don't exactly know how to get there. I might have to go cross country for a little bit, but that's all right. Moo cow, I hope you don't need any food or anything. Like you have some grass in there that's like the remains of your brothers and sisters from before. So eat them again if you really need to. Hopefully I didn't need to leave you some like trough of hay or some shit. Because otherwise, there's going to be a manky ass cow when I come home. I completely forgot. I got all the way up to the northern road and forgot I was supposed to go going for Claudie Boy's treasure. But well, I'm going to have to wait till I come back. It's not like I'm never coming back here again. So we should be fine. I will grab, was it Sarah's? Yeah, I'll grab Cesar's treasure on the way through because it's literally in the middle of the road. All right, we're finally on the path to where I'm hoping I should be able to go. Hopefully this dirt track will take me a fair whack out into the desert. I won't have too far to go cross country, but you never bloody know when you're trekking out here. So we'll just see how we end up. A couple of broken down cars. I probably should have broken down for their gas, but whatever, we will deal. All right, it says, where'd you bury it? It says, probably not particularly clever to bury I mean, I guess it's hiding in plain sight. Hey, you'd never expect to go digging for a treasure right underneath the road, but I guess that's what we're doing. I can hear a lot of footsteps upstairs. It's making me a little bit nervous. All right, never mind. Guys, I found the treasure. I might have obliterated... Oh, I didn't even obliterate the road. Just left like a little like pit of death next door. I was going to say, I can hear like zombies cruising. I can also hear what sounds like a survivor getting real rowdy over here. All right, you're not the cleverest girl in the tool shop, are you? Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Look, I want you both out of misery. If you can't get along, then I'll separate you as both. One can sit on the other side of the classroom, and the other one's the other side. That's how discipline works, right? That's the only experience I have with it. But I did that more than I actually got taught anything. Come on, come on. There we go. There's the zeros. Loot and gogs on, and... Some stuff, some cooling mesh. Actually, that's not bad given I am trundling off into the desert. So thank you very much, Cesar. Uh, let's go here. There we go. Just like smack it in my toesies. Keep my toesies nice and cool. Because the last thing you want when you're tracking about out here is for every step you take to make that nice, delicious, squelchy, moisty sound. Because you're just bathing in your own sweat. Your toes are going all like pruny, sultanery. And it's not because you're putting any effort. Just because you're just basting in your own fluids. It's a horrific thought. Let's keep on tracking out of here though. Follow the path as, long, as far as we can go. I don't feel confident with this though. I'm, more, I'm also heading more north now as well than I wanted to be. Spin out there. Boy, the turbo and the minibike is really causing me issues. Maybe I should have gone motorcycle. 
I don't have the ability to make the rest of that stuff though, so I find that that would be lovely. A motorcycle would have been cool, but it's just a bit beyond me right now, I think. Well, clearly it is. Got some cool, like, I don't know, like lab or something, like military lab there, which looks kind of interesting. Got some, like, well, military aesthetics to it. I don't know if it's actually military or not, but it's definitely out in the middle of the boonies, so it's probably not doing anything that's particularly safe to be around the populace. That's why they build bases out here, after all, but it's not where this trail is heading. I, every time I come up, oh yes, it's gonna keep on going. Every time I come to a POI out here, I feel like, cause this, this track will lead to a POI. Oh, I know what, maybe I should have held off on saying like, Apparently this leads to the middle of freaking nowhere. All right, fine, never mind. This is like turn due west and keep on trucking. Uh, might even break down one of these cars on the way too. Actually, just an extra gasoline. I've got enough gas for one more, um, one more fuel tank, but that's not particularly much. I'd rather have just a little bit in backup. Better be safe than sorry. Trying to pick out the flattest and easiest track through the, uh, ooh, there's a big lake over there. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Through the desert tundra that I can. I could just go like over the mountains and stuff because it gets all like choppy, like all these like little ridges, the washboard effect, it like, slows me down so freaking much. So if I can stick to, oh, some more lake. If I stick to like some valleys, it should be relatively flat and give me a better shot. <gasps> Gary the goat. I see you guys, I see you guys. <laughs> I love that it just freezes. Does that actually do anything? It just freezes right on the spot. Instead of a screaming goat. Oh man, that's what the fainting goats are like. Maybe he's just fainted, but he's fainted standing up. <laughs> so I, I just want to kill him. You know, it's my final I want to get some baby goats. And the only way to find that is to murder. Do you see what I see? On the spiky peaks over there, I kind of dug into the mountain, is a road that's heading to the south. So that's kind of where I need to be going. Towards those mountains. I'm gonna have to like go through this valley over here and work my way around. But at least now I have some sort of like idea in my brain, which is rare for me, I know, to actually figure out where I'm trying to get to. You know, I'm not just gonna like driving aimlessly. I have hope on the horizon. I'm just gonna get through this craggly wasteland of doom and get out there. There you go, there's some smooth ground. Take a sweet jump at the end. There you go, sweet hang time, bro. All of the undead eyeballs around here were super impressed. I remember that's how he picked up Arlene in the first place. He cut some sick wheelies and got some mad air. And she was like, you know what? If I had legs to take my panties off them, that would be what I'd take them off for. There's a POI of some sort out to the right out there. So hopefully that road from the Craggly Peaks will make its way over to here. And I can follow it all the way down to the south. There's another POI directly ahead of me as well. Let's um just go around this little bluff here. Look at the speed on the boy now. Now we're cooking. Now we're burning. Oh, there's no road there. There is definitely one just over there, though. Okay, we'll go over that way. Hopefully, this one will lead back to the town. I don't know. Well, clearly, I don't know. I'm just riding in hope. Just anything is smoother than this craggly nonsense, though. Oh, it's craggly a lot today. It would be a godsend. There we go. We're so close. We're so close. We can almost taste the gravel. Oh, please, there'll be another gap. Ah, oh, there's another ravine between us. That's all right. That's all right. A little bit of slow off-roading will do us good, I suppose. Here we go. Up, 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 up. There you go. Nice. How far did we just go to get to the next road? That was that was quite a trip. That was quite a journey, but now we're heading... Actually, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go... Where are you? Not that one. Opening trade routes. Track that one. All right. It's generally in the right direction. I didn't quite get west enough, I suppose. That's all right. We're making good progress now. Just going to slow the slow way back over that way on the other side of the peaks. Uh oh, was that burnt biome or is that wasteland? Please just be burnt. If you're burnt, I can deal. If you're not, I'm going to die. I really want to have to skirt around a biome. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Please keep turning right. Don't go left. Don't. Oh, oh. it goes left, doesn't it? It goes fucking left. Shit. It's all right, though. I found this nice little, like, I guess it's like an old riverbed or something because it's nice and smooth all the way along. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's right. It was basically like an impromptu highway cutting through there. It's just the burnt bomb though. It's not the wasteland, it's so not gonna die going through here. I am pretty freaking hungry, and I only brought like three meat stews as well. I did find an apple tree at some stage. I have a bunch of apples on me, which actually give me a fair amount of um of uh I was gonna say hydration. What's the food version of hydration? Nu you nutrition? No? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, like, the smart word for that is. Someone out there who's smarter than me, please let me know. Because I'm sure that someone out there will know better than me. But it actually does give me a, uh, a fair amount of food. Right, up you go. 
Up you go. All right, there we go. Making progress now. Less than a kilometer to go. Let's get it. This uh, seems to be a bit impassable though. There's like a full like gully here. So I might have to go on foot for a little bit. Let's just take both of you out of there. Grab that one. Let's just like gobble down all of the apples all in one. Get me back up to somewhere reasonable, please. We're going to fly up. It's flying up all the way to max. Didn't even eat all the apples either. I feel like if I'm... That was a weird bit of lag. I feel like if I'm eating out of my hot bar and just like mashing click, it's actually like eating apples that don't exist. So I'm getting more food than I actually would have if I ate all the apples individually. So I might be glitching it out just that little bit, but I do not care. I'm back to full food. I'm full thirst. I'm full of beans. Come on, we can do this. We got a couple of hours left to get there. We can make it. It looks like the ground's kind of leveling out after all these peaks. Let's put you back down again. Go like that and just refill you while I'm here because why not? There we go. All right, super speedy, super turbo. I see some buildings in the distance. Is this guy in the burnt biome? I'm coming up on the city now. Oh, I see a nuclear power station. I see lots of buildings. Oh, lads, we're here. We're here. We made it to the town. He must. Oh, there's a pawn shop here too. Don't mind if I do. I know what kind of sweet loot you're going to give me. But I'm here as a man on a mission. I'm not here to faff about and just go on looting sprees as much as the loot fiend that I am deep down inside is calling for me too. I've got that itch that I need to scratch, but I'll scratch it by doing a job for you, bud. Was it Trader Hugh I'm coming out here for? I think it might be. Passing gas. Passing gas by the motorcycles. It's itchy. It's itchy. I just want to, I just want to scratch. Here we go. Here's the lad himself. Oh. So don't mind me. Let's just pull up out the front. Now, just like with Jen, I feel like the best option here is to just like leave it in his compound somewhere. Hold on to those for me, please. Oh, you've got lots to be raided in your house as well. Let's go. Are you going to be double trading? Are you going to be double trading again? G'day, bud. How you a doing? Nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Okay, there's a lot of voices in my head, but that's all right. I'm now done with that one. May I see inventory, please? I've got 20 Gs. I don't have enough to buy everything that I might want in use. So if there's something actually particularly worthwhile, I'll absolutely take it off your hands. Oh, a bunch of small stones. But it's 80... It's pretty freaking expensive. A dollar per pop, so it's what? $5,000 it is for all the stones. I'm short of them back home, but not a real thing that I need to be focusing on right this very second. You do have some meat stews, actually. I'll buy you... Some repair kits might come in handy. There's not a lot. Generic schematics. I will buy you as well. Just gonna need them back at home. Anvil, bellows. Yeah, that's fine. And nothing. Not much. You got a lot, but not that I need. Schematics. Lucky gogs are only plus 10. That's fine. Bunch of wood. Bunch of gubs. Bunch of nothing. Well, you do have a lot of stuff though, hey? Check the secret stash as we always do. And it cost me seven or more than I have to buy all the repair kits. That's what it makes them when I get back home again, I suppose. Got some chassis, but not for motorcycles. Cement mixer, chemistry station, vending machines. More generic skemmies. Just, can I just buy like all of them, please? All that I can possibly afford? What about like 50? No, what about like 40? Jeez, it's like I'm freaking trying to auction off my gubs. Why can't you just tell me how much these cost so I can figure it out along the way? Buy you. Can I buy like another 10? No, five, yes. We're working our way down. Oh, I can't buy one more. That's it, that was the perfect amount. I have 48 there. Well, good luck with that. Yep, cheers, knackers. Oh, ah, it's your guard captain. All right, nice. Well, I don't think you're really gonna mind too much if I just live in your upstairs like loft area, will you, chief? So this could be my new home. But in the meantime, I am really quick gonna raid your entire existence. He does have his like cheeky dicky gun safe back there, although, you can definitely get up and see the city now, can't you? I suppose you can for all of them. Could have gone around and like, given Jenna cuddle back when I was down there. It's just like every time I remember that this game is or different to vanilla, like I could just squeeze through like this. I could just go like up and up and in and come hang out with you, chief. How you doing? Oh, whoop. Oh, where am I? Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I'm over here now. Never know where I am. I'm just going to play all sorts of pranky boys on ya. It's just like, I forget that this game is different, has like different mechanics than regular vanilla seven days. I'm always kind of excited when I remember something new. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Yes! Nice, what you got for me? Ah, oh, well, not a lot. All right, thanks anyway though. This guy's got the right idea. Up in the corner, got good lines of sight everywhere out here. He might actually hit a target or two. <gasps> oh, it's a construction site. I could take home lots of cement powder with me. Must remember to do that actually. That is actually super important. But this chick down here, 
I don't think you got a hit much, sweetheart. I don't think you got a whole lot of angle on anything, so enjoy just wasting all your ammo, splintering pine. Uh, nothing else around there. Let's jump down here, work our way around the outside. No cement, just all the other gobs. Look at the big holes in this place though. Trader, trader bases just aren't good. Unless they have the protection of like their, their god mode. Um, if I actually stand up to zombie damage, that is not good at all. It's always a breakthrough here in half a beat. Ooh, a book. Shotgun notes. Mastery read from Hotbar. Okay. What's that actually going to give me if I go shotgun? Shotgun weapons are going to give me... Just a point into this one? I don't actually know. What are you... What's going to found some tips and tricks? All right, well... Read you. So it just gave me an extra level of shotguns. All right, well, I'm not going to complain, but sure. Grab the other munitions box. So I've got both munitions boxes to go down the well. Breaching ammo. Can I, I can't load that. No. A, a core gun and a regular firearm are completely different. So I can't load the breaching ammo into that and go blow apart some saves. So I need to bring my auto shotty to do that. So I've got you upstairs. Is there actually a trader downstairs down here? Let's take you. Anything in this one? Just some magnum ammo. Check you as well. Anything fun? Antibiotics? I'm not going to say no. Is there a trade down here? Is there Hugh upstairs? Then Hugo downstairs like your evil alter ego twin? No, nah, it was all a lie. It was lying to me. Some electrical parts and nothing there. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's just go and just make our way back up into the surface area again. Nice, Gary. Let's just real quick talk to Hugh actually and see what jobs he's got. T1 buried supplies. Oh, it's. I reckon. I got a job. I'm getting bold. That's I'm getting bold. It is almost night time, but I am desperate to appease my new landlord that I might actually try and do both of these quick smart. If it's only 100 meters away, all I have to do is get out there, dig this thing up, come back and turn it in and get the next quest, and it will give me the other job that's only 100 meters away. Oh, sounds like someone's getting lit up back down at the trader base, but I could definitely do both of those before 3 a.m. I can do it. I'm backing yourself in here, Joshy boy. So, what, five weeks of being alive have all led to this point. How good, how quick can you be? You have a lot of experience being super fucking speedy. If once in your life, it might come in handy. I'm just going the expressway, just digging like tentacles out to find the yellow on all sides, getting closer. It's coming in, is it this way? No, it'll be, that's the fat way. Let's go that way instead. Come on, reach it. Try not to glitch through the ground. Oh, there it is there. I see, I see, I see. Slink our way out. There you are. Buried supply stash. Okay, I need to find a way out of here. It's because it is going to spawn all the zombies after me. What's the time? Almost night time. That's all right. I know where the treasure is. It's all right. You can calm down. I don't see the way to get up and out of here once I do actually grab it. Up to there. All right. Got my looting gogs on. What have you got for me? Some beakers, some painkillers, some rations. Nice. Okay. Up we go. Who are we dealing with? Put you down. Put you down. Oh, man, this pistol's good. This is why I wanted to bring the pistol with me. Headshots for everyone. Oh, except that one. Oh, that, there we go. Just uh, just missed the first one, Arlene. I'm sorry, but it's like I made good on my promises afterwards. There's another bloody lighthouse out here as well. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, that would have been an awful one to live in because it is in the burnt biome. Is that another tradie? No, it's just like the compound that I think Jen actually turns into a tradie. There we go. There is night time. So let's head... Josh! Look where you're fu- how, what, what, how have you done this? How have you- oh, I hate me sometimes. I hate me so much. Let's grab you. Thank you. We can squeeze an entire mini bike into our pocket. Right, put you down. I'm so glad that when I'm rushing, I drive myself and reverse myself into a dead end cave. Just- I wish I could say that I was surprised that I'm that much of an idiot. Because at this point, there's a substantial weight of evidence that proves that. Here you go, bud. I'm back already. I'll like take the generic now. schematics. I'll well, also take... It, so um... Ah, oh, stop. I'll take you as well. Amazing inventory. You can quickly have that one back. You can have... Oh, you have black dye on you, actually, don't you? Oh, my goodness. I can't hear shit. Well, I'm going to have to go out there and kill these zombies myself because you guys are having a time of it, apparently. Uh, I, why can't I sell you? No? What? Why can't I sell you? Oh, maybe you have too many of them already. Fair enough, then. All right, fine. Listen, if you have any jobs, I'll take you. T1, fetch. It's like two seconds away. Let me see if I can defend your house, because apparently your guards are shit house. Are you... What did I tell you? Look, I'll help you. I'll help you. There you go. You actually hit someone now? Anyone at all? 
There you go. Good job, idiot. It's just this house right here. I'm like two feet away from Trady Potatoes. There's quite a lot of idiots around here, actually. There we go. Oh, I set him on fire. I feel like it gives him like super strength or something like that. Is he a feral? I can't tell because his eyes are glowing regardless. Put you down. Put you down. I see you out there as well. Let's go with the rifle for shooting long distances. I see you as well. Thank God all the Bernie boys are relatively weak. Though I really don't want to get in a tangle with one of them because I will get my ass set on fire. Anyone else around? No? Okay. Oh, there's one there. Put you down as well. Look at this. Protecting the trainer even though I'm not living there right now. Grab you. Ooh, blunt weapons. I am rolling with the basal bat again, so it's really up my alley. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Nice. All right, let's do this nice and quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was really not expecting that. I was really not fucking expecting that. That gave me enough of a jump that I actually literally have goosebumps right now. Oh, man. All right, apparently there are night stalkers that stalk the night. Who would have guessed? There's another one just there. Let's... Put you down before I get myself in more trouble. Didn't seem too intent on fighting where I got shot in the back from, but that's fine with me. So they spawn the burn biome. That's gonna cause me some issues for my endeavors tonight. Let's go here. Qu quickly rage you and see so you're gonna give me. There's a Bernie boy coming. Hurry up, please. I see ya. Missed it. Didn't see you well enough to actually kill you the first time. I had to make you suffer just that little bit. All right, let's get this done nice and quickly. It's half past 11. Tier one fetch. Let's get cracking. Uh, oh, fuck. All right. Maybe it's time for this bad boy then. We're going to up the neighborhood anyway. Oh, that felt good. Oh, wow. Is that a lot? Hmm. Well, I'm kind of glad I brought the big boy then. Oh, I missed with the big boy though. Let's just go hip fire. Let's not even take it. Skate shooting. Oh, didn't put you down, but I did hit you. I hit the target. It just didn't break. I got jibbed. Um, anyone else? There is a lot of noise going- Oh god, a lot of noise happening in here. Oh, but it's also a lot of noise coming out of me shotgun. I'm glad I brought this with me. I think that was one of the last few. It's all re reasonably quiet in here. I can hear some gurgling somewhere, though it's not- Upstairs, okay. Upst oh, maybe not upstairs, just outside? No, definitely upstairs. Okay, good. Well, I'll get up there and quickly murder whoever is making the ruckus. I see you, bud. <laughs> it just feels good. It just feels fucking good, lads. Let's pop you open. Is there anyone else waiting for me in here? Probably. Definitely. All right, well. That's fine with me. Because the shotgun's going to take you all down anyway. Oh, you're a tough boy. Aim for some headshots, Josh. You might do a bit. Oh, fuck. A better job. God, I'm fucking up the building too. Nice. Everyone is now dead and we're left alone in the loot room. So let's grab the old crowbar. Oh, damn it, you're locked. And reasonably strong. All right, we'll pop you open and pop everyone else open as we go. Not really here for the loot as such, but I'm never going to turn it down. It's just after midnight. That's fine. We've got time. No stress. Easy peasy. Potato squeezy. Not stressy, depressy. Lemon Essie? I don't know. Whatever. You know what I mean. I'll just make up gibberish right now because I want to open the box. Boom. Zeros. We're in. Looting gogs on. Nice. What you got for me? Some parts. Some nuggies. I'll sell them to potato to get some of my money back. Barbed wire mod. You can't go on anything I own, so thank you anyway. Ooh, that's a real fucking good time right there. A much, much better steel shovel. Does 69 block damage. Nice. Uh, not that it really matters as such because it's like the same as my other one. But more importantly, it has lots of mod slots. So in you go. Always happy getting a gear upgrade. Crack a book. You're going to give me some motorcycle stuff? No. Scrap you. Scrap you. Leave the paper. Nothing else up here. Nothing on top of the uh, of the vents. No. Nice. Okay. Let's get to the last of this then. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's just an iron one. Never mind. Don't forget as well, Josh. Courier satchel. Kind of important. Kind of the whole reason he came here. Don't leave that behind. Not a whole heap of really anything in here, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting much, so I'm not upset that I didn't get much. When you uh, live up to my expectations, and it's only me who could be upset with myself for not expecting anything. Now, nah. ooh, iron desk can be looted with a cigar. Oh, I haven't had a cigar before. This whole bloody time, that's the first cigar I've found. Well, I don't need the bandana then, so... 
Strength and plus. Oh, yeah, better bartering. Still gives me like zero strength though. They've nerfed it a bit, but all right, fair enough. Then apparently, like filling your lungs with cigar smoke isn't particularly great for athletic prowess. Who would have thought? Ah, uh, to scrap you. Don't need the yellow. I have plenty of yellow back home, I'm pretty sure. Some yeast, some water, some tin, and nothing. Oh, and you. All right, nice. All right, I think we're all done and dusted here. I'm pretty sure I've done the kitchen. I'll double check it before I go. Ending in you, scrap you. Nope, haven't done the kitchen. All right, we'll raid you, head back to tradies and call it a day. XP goggles on. Let's go see old you mate. Must think you're pretty hot shit I, now. Dude, I well, just did, did two so quests in four seconds at night time. I do think I'm pretty hot shit. I'll take the mod because it's worth a lot. Um, who's worth the most out of you? Not really any of you, so I'll take the scrap brutes instead. Thank you. See so your inventory. Sell that one. Sell that one. No. Can't do that. All right. Sell the pink dye then. Sell you. All of you. All of you. And anything else in here can go as well. That one. That one. That one. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, why not? I've got a uh, chainsaw back at home that I very rarely use anyway. May as well make some money off it. And I think that will just about do me. All of you guys can piss off as well. Good. Time all right. to move on. Absolutely. Move on to the next job. You've actually restocked your jobs and they're all fucking far away. You got a whole fucking town full of death and destruction. You send me to the other side of the world to do a job for you. You're an idiot. You're an idiot and I hate you very much. Well, I'll try again in the morning because maybe you might have something better for me then. Let's go like this. Just like stash all of you into there. Um... Yeah, no, nah, that'll do. I'm just going to have to go, like, same thing with gens. You know, I've got so much extra random garbage here that I'm going to have to try and figure my shit out when I take it all back home. But that's going to have to be a job that I do. Oh, I didn't search you yet. Nothing in you, though. Don't know why I got excited about it. Look, goes back on. Ooh, some more stuff to sell. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to go and adventure more and do some more jobs for old mates. A kilometer was, like, out here. It's so far away. All right, so I can't go east. Hopefully north or south will be a slightly easier trick. I'm not particularly confident. But I'll have to do those jobs and get in his good books to find the next trader and hopefully find the end game or the start of the end game for Darkness Falls in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.